as is often the case, there's good and bad news when it comes to the weather in Chicago. First, the bad news, Chicago will almost certainly tie a record for its nearly two-week-long cold snap on Saturday, meteorologists said. The good news is it is expected to start warming up dramatically in less than 24 hours, putting an end to the longest cold snap in more than 80 years. Charles Mott, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Chicago, said it's unlikely the temperature Saturday would get above 20, which would tie a record of 12 days of temperatures that haven't gotten out of the teens. Many days the thermometer has only registered single digits and even below zero. The high Saturday at O'Hare was expected to be no more than 14 degrees. Getting above 20, it's not going to happen, Mott said. It would be nice, I would love to be wrong, but the chances of getting it that wrong are not. For that to happen, the forecasters would have to miss big. They usually don't miss that big, he said. Christmas Day was the last time the mercury rose above 20 degrees, according to the Weather Service. By staying so cold, Chicago will have tied the record of 12 days in a row of temperatures below 20 degrees, which has happened only twice before since records have been kept, in 1936 and 1895. On Saturday, the temperature was expected to be highest sometime between 2 and 3 p.m., Mott said, as it is a day with more sun than clouds. It's not all bad news, though. It was expected to warm up starting Sunday. Mott said he started work at 6 a.m. And it was 8 below when he got to work Saturday. On Sunday, even in the dark of early morning, it should already be warmer than it has been in the past 12 days, he said. It could already be 14 degrees by 6 a.m. Sunday, he said. If it's minus 8 when I walk in, then someone blew it big time, he joked. I'm looking forward to it warming up, probably like most people. 14 is a lot better than 8 below, he said. The warmest part of Sunday likely will come close to 6 p.m., again, when it is dark out. It could get as warm as 31 degrees, Mott said. Light snow is expected to start falling early Sunday, and lead to accumulations of up to 2 inches, according to the Weather Service. For more updates on the forecast, check the Tribune's weather page. Continued biting cold weather in Chicago kept the crew of the James J. Versloy's tugboat busy breaking ice on the Chicago River on January 3, 2018, Terence Antonio James slash Chicago Tribune. Continued biting cold weather in Chicago kept the crew of the James J. Versloy's tugboat busy breaking ice on the Chicago River on January 3, 2018, Terence Antonio James slash Chicago Tribune. A beautiful sunrise started a frigid morning along the Lake Michigan shore in Chicago on January 5, 2018, Jose M. Osario slash Chicago Tribune. A beautiful sunrise started a frigid morning along the Lake Michigan shore in Chicago on January 5, 2018, Jose M. Osario slash Chicago Tribune.